today we are going to learn about the human brain. Doesn't that sound cool and intriguing and maybe a little bit gross? Well, it's going to be a lot of fun because the brain is an amazing, amazing part of your body. And you're going to understand it after watching this video. I know we're going to jump right in. It's going to be so cool. So what is a brain? I mean, here in this drawing, it almost looks like it's like bubble gum. What is a brain? Well, the brain is an organ of the body. Isn't that interesting? It's an organ of the body. All right, so what is an organ? <laughs> we have to know that to know what a brain is. If the brain is an organ of the body, what is an organ? It's interesting, an organ is a special group of tissues that do specific jobs for your body. Like your heart. Your heart is a special group of tissues that does a specific job for your body. An eyeball is an organ too. It's a special group of tissues that does a specific job for your body. And how about a kidney? A kidney is an organ that's a special group of tissues that does a specific job for your body. See, the brain isn't like just some wad of gums. The brain is a special group of tissues. And not only that, remember an organ is a special group of tissues that do specific jobs for your body they do different jobs they have tasks to do so we know there are special tasks that the brain has to do but what does the brain do what is it that the brain does well this might sound crazy Okay, this might, I hope you're sitting down, this might sound a little crazy. The brain controls most of the activities of the body. Your brain is like the control center of your body. When you sit down, your brain told your body to sit down. When you stand up, your brain told your body to stand up. It's amazing. Your brain controls most of the activities of your body. Wait, what? what's with this sad music? I mean, this is not a sad thing. The brain controls most of the activities of the body, but that's a... That's a good thing. Who's playing this sad music right now? Seriously? Kittens? Two kittens playing the piano. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? They're cute, but come on, all right? Tell them, to, if they're going to play piano, tell them to play the right kind of music. Okay, it's not much to ask. Tell them to play the right kind of music. All right, that's better. So the brain controls most of the activities of the body, and that's a really good thing. You see, the brain is really powerful. <laughs> oh my goodness. The brain is really, 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 really powerful. It does a great job of controlling the activities of your body. Your brain is a champ. It's like the control center of your body, and your brain does a phenomenal job. Wait, but how does something that almost looks like a wad of bubble gum control most of the activities of your body? How does that even work? Well, your brain uses something called the nervous system. Yeah, the nervous system. It's different than this kind of nervous. This man, his team is behind, okay? It's near the end of the game. He doesn't know if they're going to be able to win. And he's sitting there wearing his cape. He's nervous. This is a different type of nervous. The nervous system is how the brain is able to control the actions of your body. And here's how it works. Here is where your brain is. 
And here is where something called the spinal cord is. Now the brain and the spinal cord work together to send information called signals. These signals are sent to what are called your nerves. Your nerves enable your body to do what your brain directed, and that is how the brain is able to control most of the actions of your body. The brain and spinal cord make up what's called the central nervous system, where information is processed and sent out as signals. And those nerves that go throughout your whole body, those are called the peripheral nervous system. And these arrows are just pointing to just a few that are in the arm, but they go all over the place and they receive these signals from the brain. How cool is that? From the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord, the peripheral nervous system gets the signals and is like, okay, let's do this. And what's so cool, it can work the other way around where the nerves can actually send signals to the spinal cord and to the brain. Let's say you're playing outside and you fall and you hurt your knee. Your nerves, which are part of the peripheral nervous system, send out a signal and say, uh-oh, uh-oh, pain, I'm hurt, I'm hurt in the knee. That signal gets sent to the brain and spinal cord, which are the central nervous system, and your brain processes that information so you can take the action that you need to take, which is to take care of your knee. Hey, did you know the brain, because it controls most of the activities of your body, needs to be protected? That is why it's so amazing that your brain lives here, in something called the skull. Your brain lives in the skull. Your skull is really hard and protects your brain because your brain controls most of the activities of your body. But not only that, The brain is also responsible for all of your thinking and dreaming and imagining. Have you ever sat down and just thought and planned? All of that is using your brain. How incredible! So good that your brain lives in your skull so it can be protected because not only does it control most of the activities of your body, but also you do your thinking with your brain, your imagining with your brain, even your dreaming with your brain. How incredible is the human brain? And if you want to know a secret, you were using your brain the whole time you were watching this video as you were learning. You're using your brain. How cool is that? We love the brain. The brain is so, so awesome.